you, uh, Pak Ismail. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will record everything and then I will upload to Facebook <laughs> and YouTube. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, this is actually my passion to help the rural village Indonesia to get connected to the internet and make the Indonesian people smarter. This is actually my dream. I was invited by Eisenhower Fellowship Program. At that time, I went to all over U.S. I learned about rural telecommunication, how the U.S. built the rural telecommunication infrastructure. I tried to bring that idea to Indonesia is, is tough. At that time, having heard what Pak Supradedi said, the um, uh, friends from Mr. Village, coming for doing now, I am very happy. Uh, what I have in mind in in this small speech is basically the scale scaling. How we scale? Yes, MOV having done in certain villages. Yes, Bakti having done in certain villages. How can we scale up this thing for all over Indonesia? We have everything in Indonesia actually. We have done a lot of things in Indonesia. Uh, besides what have been done by Bakti, besides have been done by. Uh, village, uh, uh, Ministry of Village, as well as Facebook, uh, I will uh, summary a little bit. Friends at the uh, Cominfo, they have the activity, it's called Cyber Creasy, it is I ICT literacy. It has been done for two years, two, three years. So yes, they have been doing cyber literacy. Uh, the material is on the web, uh, free, we can download. It's, so that's not the issue. The issue how to bring it to village. <laughs> that's the biggest issue. Okay. So the material, the uh, PDF file, the file, the video is on the web. It's available. The problem is how to bring it to village. So that's cyber creation. The Ministry of Cominfo, they have uh, ICT volunteers. I, I don't know how, how many thousand of people couple thousand people uh, uh, they actually volunteering this is volunteer is is not paid by Cominfo at the moment it used to be funded but now they are independent they volunteers and they help Indonesians the Indonesian uh, to literate on ICT in the past they more focus on internet safety but now they extend into e-commerce and everything so they have volunteers thousand of them uh, uh, one of the uh, that's from the Marisa Cominfo at the community level we have uh, many uh, community based movement for example we have 60,000 60,000 uh, neighborhood network RT RW net so they are building the uh, access network for neighborhood Okay. Because it's very easy. What you you, you can do is just uh, tethering your phone to your neighbor and becoming a neighborhood network. But they use like walk and everything to make the distance longer. So that's how they do it. Uh, we have about 60,000 of them. It's very easy. If you look at the uh, Google, not Facebook, <laughs> search, search Google, Google, search Google. Uh, uh, the keyword RT RW net, you find a lot of them. You put the keyword Wajan Bolik, you find a lot of them. Wajan Bolik on, on Google. So that's neighborhood network. In Pemalang, Puspindes, Pusat Informasi Desa, they managed to connect 211 villages in Pemalang using Wi Fi. So they create long distance Wi-Fi, they connect 211 villages in Malang Regency. And now Ganja, the governor, is adopting the uh, ID and they are trying to connect the whole province, villages in the whole province. And mind you, this is not top-down approach. This is very bottom-up approach. Many of them are actually putting their own money to build this thing. So sustainable is built in into the system because it's bottom-up approach, okay? Uh, oops, sorry, okay. Uh, one more thing is, he's responsible for this, actually. <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So in Indonesia, in Papua, we actually uh, running uh, uh, open source cellular network. It's uh, actually the the ID is supported. Uh, now it's becoming supported by Facebook. It's called telecommunication infrastructure project. It's open source. The it, the software is open source. The hardware they are crazy. The hardware is open source. So everything open. We can build our own. Five, now 5G, right? 5G network. Open source for village. And in Papua, they managed to run the system for five years. The one who run the system, it is, this is in village. The one who run the system is school teacher. It's not operator. So it's, they're a little bit crazy, but, but it works. Okay. Now, uh, what I have in mind for, 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 for this group, our homework, there are four homeworks. <laughs> so that's the background. Let's see the homework because my, my time is very limited. So the homework, first <laughs> homework, we have to do this around November or December to launch everything. After the ministry is uh, selected, then we run. Uh, I think Jopowi will will support you guys. I think. <laughs> so they will they will, he will not remove you your ministry from from Indonesia. <laughs> okay. So I but we have only like what uh, now is September, October, November. So we have only three four months to prepare. So we have to be serious and we have to sit down. And in two three four months we have to be able to produce something. Now the thing is what I have in mind is simple. Only three things. The thing. So I, I said four things. One is doing it in November. That's the first one. <laughs> so make sure we have new minister because I knew the the new minister needs something uh, for uh, what the seratus uh, hari, the one hundred days achievement. So quick win. So this becoming the quick win for two ministers. One is the Kominfo uh, and one is for Desa. Uh, and we actually. Uh, ITU and World Bank responsible for marrying these two ministers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the become a thing. Uh, uh, the uh, apa sih kalau orang kawin tuh apa? Uh, seserahan. Seserahannya. <laughs> Maharnya. Maharnya tuh. Tuh mahar. One, uh, what I have in mind is we can uh, initiate like the uh, uh, volunteers, uh, facilitators. Uh, education for the uh, facilitators but uh, for desa but what i what i have in mind is not uh, we are not uh, selecting we make an open uh, recruitment and they what i have in mind they can submit a proposal with their uh, what it, success stories this is a little, little bit of cheating because we are, we want to make sure those who are who will be selected are the the successful uh, the possible successful rate is 99.9 percent, .9%. and then we help them. I know it's cheating, but we are uh, limited by 100 days. Uh, was it uh, quick win? So after that we can select the one that can fail, but for 100 days we need to select the one that yeah. So that's one. Uh, the material to uh, to do the education and stuff like that is on the web, uh, Facebook web. Uh, <laughs> that's one. The second one is uh, I have been talking with Tom and his friend in Facebook. I, I asked them to transfer the technology to Indonesian universities for 5G network. So uh, if Cominfo and Mendesa can initiate uh, like transferring the uh, Facebook technology 5G to universities and we can launch. What I have in mind is the university should submit proposals to us and we can select which university uh, is can can receive the uh, tech, this kind of technology. I know Facebook uh, really wants to engage with ITB but uh, well, okay, ITB is one, but uh, open to other universities as well, right? Uh, but this is competition. So many will submit proposals. Hopefully, we can select the, the good ones. The one who gets selected, they must uh, deploy an experimental network at uh, DESA, at Village. 
Good thing with Cominfo, uh, 2000 existing or 17? Baru di antara Sign and Act, 16. 16. 16. So, uh, 2016, baru di antara has Sign and Act, we can experiment uh, telecommunication network in Desa. Trial, trial network in Desa. So, yes, we can trial, experiment. Uh, so, the network is not run by operator, it can be run by the community under experimental license. But the, the DESA must submit proposal to Cominfo first. Okay. But the, so the scenario is uh, select, uh, not select, university submit proposals to us, and Facebook can transfer some of the technology, 5G technology, and the uh, university must uh, try the technology to DESA. Okay. Uh, this activity must be launched by two ministers. I, 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 I talking like presidents here. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a good word. <laughs> so, okay, so the first one is the volunteers, facilitator. The second one is the uh, university staff. The third one, I think, Minister of, of Desa should not must should uh, negotiate with Cominfo, especially for licensing, because at the uh, in Indonesia the regulation only operator can deploy the network, and that will create problem if the DESA will create their own network. So we need to to have some sort of agreement uh, what kind of license we need to use. But it's okay. They can sign their own license every every day, but Kemendesa is uh, they don't have that, that kind of privilege, so we need to negotiate. Okay, so that's basically my point. Uh, four points. Okay, hopefully we can do it by October, November. November. We we we. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> he is the one. <laughs> he is the one who to process the license. <laughs> yeah. So uh, thank you, Pano and Mr. Tom and uh, Vice Mayor also.